Today, let's talk about the five most common Google Analytics mistakes made by enterprises or large sites. Google Analytics can get quickly complicated when you have a complicated site. And if you avoid these mistakes, you should be able to rely on your data and make sure that it's used for business decisions. Mistake number five, not testing the Google Analytics code on your different CMSs. Large sites are usually made up of multiple content management systems, all residing on different technologies. And somebody has to take charge and make sure that the Google Analytics code is tested on all those sites. That's because it's based on JavaScript technology and it needs to fire off from every single page. So if you have a large website, uh, maybe a hotel or an airline, make sure that the Google Analytics code is tested on your corporate site, on your booking engine, on your loyalty engine. If you run a large portal or directory, make sure it's tested on your homepage, on your search engine site, and on the individual property pages. Mistake number four, having complicated URLs that make it really hard to read reports. In large sites, typically URLs are pretty complicated. They have arguments at the back of them, things like session IDs, search terms, or product variations. It makes sense in the technology sense, but when it comes to reading reports and analytics, that makes it extremely hard to differentiate one page from the other. There are multiple workarounds. You could possibly rewrite the URLs within analytics just to separate them out, or you could use something called filters to simplify your reports. Mistake number three, not being ready for multi-domain setups. We often have large websites that we work with that don't realize that their customer journey actually spans multiple countries, multiple subdomains, or multiple parts of the site. Now when this happens, the Google Analytics code normally breaks because the default code is only built for one site. So in case you have multiple countries or multiple domains or a booking engine or some other part of the site that leads them out of the main domain and back somewhere else, make sure that you have read up the Google Analytics documentation and your code is ready for that multi-domain setup. Mistake number two, setting KPIs without a proper discussion. We've often seen in large site, somebody's job, promotion or bonus depends on the number of page views or the number of visitors. The problem is, nobody really knows what that means. What marketing managers think in terms of visitors is different from what IT managers think in terms of hits. So it's really critical that marketing and IT get together and discuss what these KPIs mean. And whoever is responsible for meeting these KPIs should be especially careful and make sure that the setup is done correctly. And the most common Google Analytics mistake made by large sites is not enough technology training for their technology staff. Google Analytics can get complicated. It's not built for any sort of tough situation. It's built for a single setup. Anything more complicated than that, there's a lot of customization to do, there's documentation to read up, and there's a lot of testing that needs to happen. So we need to make sure that all technology and marketing staff that are involved in Google Analytics understand exactly what it requires to get that set up correctly. They understand the technological needs, they understand what kind of work needs to happen and what the timelines are. They understand what sort of features analytics can track and what it takes to set them up. This will really, really go a long way and make sure that the business data we're getting is reliable and useful. If you use Google Analytics in your organization and you really want to rely on it, but you're not sure if you're maximizing it to the fullest or not, you should consider one of our Google Analytics trainings. We have a three-day Google Analytics training with three modules. Day one covers the user interface and features. Day two covers advanced analysis, digging into report segmentation. And day three talks about various technical implementations, being able to track not just sites, but apps, mobile sections, and rich interfaces. It's gonna be power packed. It's based on the Google Seminars for Success programs approved by Google. In fact, there might be even Googlers there. And more importantly, if you think Google Analytics is important to your KPIs, your reports, and your metrics, it's time to step up and make more powerful use of analytics. That's all the tips I have. If you run the enterprise site, make sure that you avoid these five common Google Analytics mistakes. Until next time, happy hour.